don't even know how to start off this video. I'll just play the opening. girl Alexa and welcome to my channel so as you see by the title down below I'm going to be sharing my k-pop on popular opinions um so I know this uh, trend has been dead for like a while now but I decided to you know hop on the late bandwagon like the really old one and just you know hop on it and try to be trendy or something like I'm trying my best and just you know share my opinions with you so as basic as this is um, they're my opinions please respect them you know this is just how I feel about it you don't have to agree you can disagree if you want it is what it is I said what I said just because we're all K-pop fans doesn't mean we have to agree on everything okay there's some stuff we like and there's some stuff we don't like it is what it is anyway let's get started okay so I'm reading from my phone by the way okay so number one love scenario so this was like one of Icon's big songs. Everyone liked it. It's everyone was talking about it. It was trending. It's one of Icon's like biggest songs. I'm gonna be honest with you. The song is good. You know, it's cute. It's cheesy. It's a little romantic. It's a really good song. But I don't think it's good for Icon. So when I see Icon, I see like them as this like you know tough k-pop group wearing hip-hop clothes and you know saying swag a lot like i see him as this that's what i see them doing like when i see them doing like a romantic cheesy song it sounds just so weird especially love scenario like, I feel like Love Scenario is not a song for them. I feel like it's for, like, another group. I just feel like that's a song for Seventeen, Astro, EXO, hell, even Shiny. That's more of, like, their music. Not really for Icon. I don't think it's, like, a good song for them. Like, I just feel like it's more for, like, you know, the cutesy boy groups, if you know what I mean. Number two, ASC, aka After School Club. So I used to watch After School Club like around my freshman days of K-pop, aka around 2015. I would watch it live a few times. I used to watch like episodes before, like you know, when BTOB panel was on there, or you know, when you know they were just like sitting around in like a like table and they're just talking about some topics, or you know, of course, you know when they had you know. K-pop idols on there, you know, will be fun to watch. But I feel like ever since Eric Nam left, the show just wasn't there anymore. Like, there was just so many changes that happened. And when Eric left, I feel like the show just didn't. It just, no. It just became a no. It's just like no shape to the show. But I, it's just like, it's just not, it's, to me, it's just not that good. It's just so cringy. And honestly, I have trouble watching the show, especially when Jay came on the show. Like, I, I don't know, like, and I don't hate the guy. I just, I just can't watch him. He's just, it's just so cringy. Like they're saying like these old vines and these old memes and I'm just like, stop, stop it, stop it. I sound like such a hypocrite because I say old memes and old lines, so I, I, I really shouldn't talk. Oh my god, it's just so cringy. I can't watch the show anymore. I'm sorry. Like, I feel like ever since Eric left, it just hasn't been that good. So, Red Velvet's Bad Boy, a lot of people love that song. A lot of people love it. And a lot of people reacted to it. I reacted to it. I liked it at first. But I don't know. Ever since, like, it's been overplayed, I, I just, I'm so conflicted. Like, I'm just like, wait, do I like this song? Do I hate this song? Maybe it's because I overheard it, it kind of got old real fast, but at the same time, it's a good song. I don't know. I'm like in the middle. It's like one minute I like it, one minute I'm just like, okay, enough with this song. I'm so conflicted. Like, I'm like, do I like this song? Do I hate this song? I'm just, I I don't even know. All right, so the next one, uh, Blackpink's Do Do Do. So I actually do like that song. I like Do Do Do. The problem I have with that song is the dance. I just felt like the dance was just kind of, I just think the dance is boring. Like when I hear the beat drop, I'm expecting to do like all this like choreography and stuff, but they're just like doing this. I'm like, what is this? I'm like, what? No, what? what is this 
choreography, no. Especially because, you know, I've seen videos of Blackpink dancing. You probably already saw them dancing to Rihanna's uh, Bitch Better Have My Money and like they go hard on that. And like when I saw that, I'm like, all right, this is what I'm expecting. This is what I'm expecting to see in like MVs, like hard ass dancing. And I saw that in Boom Ya and um, Playing With Fire. But when I saw Do Do Do, I'm just like, like that's it? I, I felt like they could have, you know, done a little bit better to be honest with you and again I don't hate Blackpink I like the group I just feel like the choreography could have been better to be honest with you <laughs> yeah like I, I don't know I just I'm just not here for the dancing all right and here is my final unpopular opinion and I did mention this before but I'm gonna say it in this video um I haven't really been keeping up with GOT7 that much and I feel like I'm kind of getting out of them to be honest with you. I just feel like I'm not really that into them like I used to be when I first got into K-pop. Like I don't know just like their new songs I'm just not feeling it and I'm not just saying like you know oh you know their songs are trash like don't listen to them. I'm not saying that. I'm just like it's just not for me personally like I just didn't really like you know their recent songs. Just, I just, I just don't know. I just haven't really been just digging it. It's just probably because I like their older music better. Like their older music was just like in the cheesy side. Maybe it's because of that. And I don't know. I just haven't been like digging it that much. I guess I'm just like growing out of them or something. It's not like me hating on them. Like I, there's nothing that they. Well, there's some stuff that they did that kind of made me like side eye them. But you know, you know, it is what it is, and I'm over it. But, you know, I just haven't really been getting into their music. It's just, like, yeah. <laughs> but I'm not gonna get rid of, like, any of my GOT7 merch. Like, I only have, like, three to be exact, to be honest with you. Like, I have the poster that's back there, and I have my Young J doll, and I have my shirt. I'm still gonna keep that. I'm not gonna get rid of it. Anyway, that's it for my unpopular opinions video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to share this video. Also, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. Comment down below what are your K-pop unpopular opinions. Let me know in the comment section. I would love to know what are your unpopular opinions as well. Maybe I can read your own popular opinions in the next video. Maybe. If, if it happens. It depends like how many comments we get. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!